Al Avila had deals to make and he waited until the last minute. Tigers management and ownership are actively trying to tank and rebuild. After publicly shopping Nick Castellanos, the Tigers started today's game with Nick in the lineup. But that changed with no shortage of drama. Shane Green, the first the deal Tigers of the day. The Tigers the trade Braves. their all-star closer with an ERA of just over one to the Atlanta Braves. Hugs in the dugout as another all-star leaves Detroit's clubhouse. He goes to Atlanta in exchange for two minor leaguers. They get Joey Wentz, the Braves' seventh-ranked prospect, and Travis Demerit, a prospect not ranked in Atlanta's top 30, but a guy who is in AAA and has 20 home runs in 74 RBIs. Castellanos was supposed to bat second in the game. When the game started, he was still listed in the lineup. Then Jordy Mercer stepped on deck, so more hugs. Nick is on his way to the Cubs. For Nick Castellanos, Chicago sends two right-handed pitchers, Paul Richin and Alex Lange. Ranked 16th and 23rd respectively in Chicago's system. Lange was their first round pick in 2017 out of LSU, pitched in two College World Series. Castellanos said he wanted to stay long term. He wanted to be paid. Al Avila and the Tigers didn't want to sign him. So they said publicly, bye bye. As he runs out of the clubhouse, they were trying to trade Castellanos. They showed their cards for a year now. It looked like it would backfire, but ultimately they move him just before the deadline. Matt Boyd stays put and the losing isn't going anywhere either. Heather, Alan.